Hi, I'm Mark from MR Photography, and I'm going to walk you through my shoot today. Today we're going to shoot an old Nintendo that doesn't work anymore. Thought we'd put it to good use. Here you can see is a shot of all my gear. This is what we're going to use to be taking the photo. First, obviously, you have the Nintendo. We're going to hollow that out later so we can put a flash inside of it. Then we have my four pocket wizards. I use those to trigger the flashes off camera. Then you have my two stands. One has an umbrella. It's a silver black reflective umbrella. I'm going to use that to bounce the flash. Then we have a super clamp. My camera's in the back. Two black foam cores and white, white foam core. Then we have my three flashes. Okay, right now I'm going to set up the shoot. Right now I'm using the two pieces of black foam core as the background. They're a little dirty right now. Um, if I were going to be doing this for professionally, I'd go ahead and clean those off. I've already taken the pictures for the final shot, so I'm not too worried about it. Here's the Nintendo. You'll see that the Nintendo has six screws on the bottom. You just unscrew those. The top will pop right off. Once you're inside, I've already ho hollowed out the guts, but you're going to have to take a bunch of parts out. It's all screws. It's not that hard. Then we take our SB28 flash. It's a smaller flash, so it fits nicely inside of it. I have a Stofen Omnibounce on there because as I was practicing for the shot, it wasn't getting a wide enough spread, and it was totally interfering with the, the shot. So I went ahead and put the Stofen on there. It's a really tight, snug fit. I had to break off some of the black plastic that was inside of it. Right now I'm connecting my pocket wizard cable. I have it through a hole in the side and I'm going to put it behind the Nintendo so you can't see it. So the pocket wizard will be outside and the flash will be inside. Right now I'm setting my flash at F4. Through just a couple practice shots I figured out that was a pretty good power setting for the flash. Uh, it's a really quick uh, change if you ever need to because the top just comes right back off. So just play around with it. I'm feeding the, the cable through, putting the top back on, we're ready to shoot. Now here's the problem. If you don't have the Omnibounce on there really, really snugly, the top isn't going to fit on, and that happened to me. So I'd take it back off, just push, it was just a second, and it made the flash fit in a lot better. Now the great thing with the Nintendo lid is that it can act like a barn door. At first I was shooting it wide open, I was getting too much flare, it just made the, the shot look horrible. So what I did is I went ahead and closed that down just a little bit tighter. The more you close it, the less light you're going to get. And what you have to do is you have to experiment to find the right balance between full on flash and closing the door. Also, by closing the door a little bit, you're going to display the Nintendo logo. And if this was a professional shot, that's what, the, that's what they want. They want their logo. Okay, I have everything set up in the back. You can see the snoot on the SP28. That's going to give me my backlight, my rim light. Uh, I put it right in the corner, so it's going to heighten up that corner. I have a right reflector, which is just foam core, on a stand. And immediately to your left is a silver umbrella ready to go with a 580 inside. Now here I'm firing off a couple of practice shots. As you can see, it's a very quick light. We can't even tell it happens, but this is the lighting setup for the shot. We'll zoom in a little bit. Let's take a closer look and see what it looks like up close and personal. You can see the Stofen, but because of the light, it doesn't bother at all. And I got some really great shots from an easy 15-minute setup, and I know you can do the same. All right, that's our shot for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned that with just a little bit of time and a little bit of brains, you can have a really good quality shot. You can check us out at the web at www.mr-photo.com, or you can check out the blog at http markryanphotography.blogspot.com. See you next time.